The European Energy Efficiency Directive, in its Article 8, requires each member state to set itself an energy savings target for each 10-year period. There are two key principles. Additionality, only energy savings that are additional to other European legislation are eligible. And materiality, member states must prove the active incentive role of their policies. France meets this obligation through its White Certificate Scheme, the CEE. What about at European level? Member states can implement either an obligation scheme, alternative measures, or a mix of both. Obligation schemes vary from country to country. Obligated parties may be energy suppliers, as in almost all schemes, or energy distributors, as in Italy. Obligation thresholds vary. In France, they are based on the volume of energy sold to end consumers, while in Italy, they are based on the number of customers. Energy savings can be counted in annual savings or accumulated over the lifetime of the action. Certificates are credited by means of standardised deemed saving for each type of action, based on estimates derived from an energy audit or on data measured before and after intervention. To date, only France, Italy, Poland and now Spain have a secondary market for white certificates. For beneficiaries, cumulation with public aid is authorised under certain conditions in Ireland and France, whereas it is prohibited in Italy. Apart from France, all other countries report alternative measures. Germany, for example, uses energy taxes, a national CO2 pricing scheme for transport and heating, and financial incentives, tax credits for renovation, subsidies, soft loans and competitive calls for projects. Finland uses voluntary agreements for companies and municipalities that commit to an energy savings target and action plan. Slovakia is the country reporting the highest number of measures, some 40 in all, including 18 building renovation programmes, six measures for transport, one voluntary agreement for industry and one public lighting renovation programme. Each country is free to choose its own mix of measures, but they must all comply with the rules of the European Energy Efficiency Directive. For more information, visit the ENSMOV Plus project platform.